Hey guys, Miss Kaiser here. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I hope everybody's doing well um, and all of your teachers really miss you and um, we're looking forward to when we can be back at school together again. Um, but in the meantime, just know that we're thinking about you um, and we hope that you're doing well. Um, we're going to do a quick lesson today. Um, it should not take very long, um, but if you don't have colored of pe color pieces of paper out. Um, they were in your packet, so you might have to find them, but now would be a good time to pause the video and find those different color pieces of paper for today's lesson that we're gonna do right now. All right, so we're gonna be looking at a few different word problems today, and we're gonna be using these pieces of paper to fold and represent what's happening in the word problem. And then we're gonna talk about, okay, how would we write this as an equation um, and, and what does this equation look like? So the first problem that I want us to look at is right here, and I'm gonna try to hold it where you can see it, okay? Um, it says a farmer wants to plant one half of her field with fruit and the other half with vegetables. One half of the fruit section will be planted with fruit trees and one half with fruit bushes. Half of the vegetable section will be planted with vegetables that grow above ground and half with vegetables that grow below ground. Now, that seems like an extremely wordy problem. So what I want us to do, in the very first part of that problem, it says that one half of her field would be planted with fruit and the other half with vegetables. So get out one color piece of paper. Your color might be different than mine and that's okay. But this one piece of paper is gonna represent the whole field. So if half of this is going to be planted with fruit and the other half with vegetables, we need to fold our paper in half. And when we open it, we'll have two different sections, one section with fruit, one section with vegetables. So go ahead and pause your video and fold your paper in half to represent half of the field being fruit and half of the field being vegetables. All right, now if we continue reading from this word problem, it says that one half of the fruit section will be planted with fruit trees and one half with fruit bushes. So that means that this half right here, I'm gonna have to split in half again. One half to represent fruit trees and one half to represent fruit um, bushes. So that means I'm gonna fold just this section in half to give me one half of the half and one half of the half. Go ahead and pause the video and do that with your paper now. So, now we have this visual representation of half of the half of the field that is fruit is planted with trees and half of the half of the field that is fruit are bushes. Now, I want us to think about this for a second. I've said a lot this year, if you're in my class, that when I partition part of the whole, it makes sense to partition the whole thing. So I'm, if I'm thinking about how much of this field is planted with fruit trees, I would have to also split my vegetable section into half um, to find equal pieces. But if we read the next part of the problem, it says half of the vegetable section will be planted with vegetables that grow above ground and half with vegetables that grow below ground. So that means I need to go ahead and fold this section for my vegetables in half. Half will be for those that grow above ground and half will be for those that grow below ground. Go ahead and do that on your paper and pause the video. So, once we're finished with this paper folding activity, we see that we have some fruit trees, we have fruit bushes, we have vegetables growing above and vegetables growing below. Don't judge my drawings, okay? I did the best that I could. But let's answer this question. What fraction is planted with fruit trees? Well, when I'm thinking about the whole, I have one, two, three, four different sections or four different pieces in my whole. So that means the fruit tree section would be one piece out of one, two, three, or four, meaning it's one-fourth. Now, 
when I going back to when I split half of my field and half again, that was almost like I was doing one half divided by two. But you know from me that if you're in my class that we've talked about some inverse equations. So I could think about this as one half divided by two, but the number two wasn't in the word problem. Instead it said half of the half of the field would be planted with fruit trees. Now that is taking part of a part. So part of the field is fruit and part of the fruit part of the field is gonna be fruit trees. So it's part of a part. So one half divided by two is actually equal to one half times one half. So to find the section of the fruit trees, I would be multiplying half of a half, one half times one half. Both of both one half times one half and one half divided by two will give you um, the answer of one fourth.